Hey, it's Kendrick for Technology Interpreters. And so today I'd like to welcome you to part three of this PowerShell tutorial slash class. So what we're doing is right, in the first episode, we learned how to get a list of processes. Now today I'm gonna to show you how to stop process. Why does this come in handy? Because there are times when you need to kill malware or just programs in general. So we're gonna show you this process. Let's go ahead and change over to the screen. So the first thing we do is wanna get a list of process. So this is from yesterday. So if you know, get process. That gives you an entire list of processes, but that's a little messy. We're going to focus on a couple processes today, and one of them is OneDrive. So get process just name OneDrive. Okay. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to type stop process. Okay. This is the command. Stop process. Notice that it asks for information because we want to feed it just a little bit more information. We can use that, but not for the purpose of this beginner tutorial. So stop process, and we're going to say OneDrive. And you see, okay, so what's wrong with it? So I was able to do get process one drive and it worked fine, but why can't I do the stop process? Well, the reason why is we have to do the dash name parameter. So stop process dash name one drive and one drive stops. However, you notice that we didn't get any kind of feedback. We just got basically the next prompt. So I've got one drive on my taskbar. I'm going to open one drive again. All right, so now that OneDrive is open, you're gonna run the command to get OneDrive again, so make sure it's there. Now, another thing I want you to understand, we can also do stop process, let's do it this way, and I'm using my up and down arrows, okay? So stop process, and you notice OneDrive has an ID of 3544, so we can do dash ID 3544. Once again, we killed OneDrive. So let's go ahead, open it again. Now, if I try to do the get process OneDrive and it's not there, trust me, it won't do, it'll give an error message. So the next step in the process is how do we give it to give us some feedback? It's always nice to know like if it stops successfully, uh, but in this case we didn't. So we're gonna use another process called pass through. So stop process, we're gonna do dash name because OneDrive, and we're gonna type the word pass through. There you go. All right, so all right, it doesn't like it. All right, I'm not going to stop the tour here because I mean everybody must makes mistakes. So one thing we left off is the dash. So dash pass through, and we press it. So now it came back. It showed us the process information right there. So if I run the get process OneDrive, is it still there? No, there's an error message. It's gone. So stop process dash name OneDrive dash pass through. Now, what if I just wanted to, for some reason, maybe I'm doing this in a program and I wanted to make sure that I got some kind of confirmation before I stop PowerShell. Because remember, we can take these PowerShell scripts, we can condense them into a file that somebody can then run the file and it do these commands for us, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop, we're gonna say, instead of just the pass through, we're gonna do a dash confirm. So stop process dash name or tag name one drive tag by the way tag is the same as the dash or the minus okay so from this point forward in the tutorial i'm going to be saying tag because if not other cybersecurity people are going to beat me up okay so stop process tag name one drive tag confirm tag process i'm sorry tag pass through so if i do that all right so i got an error message one somewhere so let's see maybe i should launch one drive let's make sure i launch one drive because i can't stop it so it can't find a process name. So that's why we can stop it. Okay, so now let's confirm we have OneDrive. There it is. Now let's stop it with the confirm or the tag confirm man. All right, so this is really nice because it prompts us. And so we can say no, yes to all. So a lot of times we may be, say for instance, if I'm doing Google Chrome, there could be 15 or 20 processes that I can stop that have a dat, tag name based Chrome. And so you can say yes to all in that situation and it'll kill all the processes or you can just choose to kill one, okay? So for the sake of this exercise, we're gonna stop here. Actually, we'll just type yes to go ahead and kill it. And then I'll do a get process, OneDrive, and it's gone, okay? So I'm trying not to go too fast. So if you have questions, don't forget to leave questions and comments. Also, I'm gonna have my Discord. I'm thinking about mentoring a group of people. I've actually been able to get a good friend of mine a job working in cybersecurity for my company. We went through about maybe nine, nine months of training but I got a path and I got a pattern. So I'm going to be thinking about that. So if you're interested in being mentored and things that actually are important to employers, please follow the channel and please like follow my discord. The link is like in my channel header. Okay. So now we've kind of gone through all the basics. 
Now let's see, what if we want to stop a process, something like LSAS, okay? So if I do get process LSASS, all right, there's LSAS, which is running, which is a critical process, okay? So what if I want to stop process LSAS? Now LSAS is running as administrator, so it, it doesn't like that. So remember, I got to put the dash, the tag name, LSAS. Okay, so you see how that automatically prompts. Now remember, for OneDrive, when I wanted to stop it, I actually had to do a tag confirm command to get it to confirm. But for LSAS, since it's not running as the user account that I'm logged into, it's automatically going to prompt to confirm if I want to stop the process. I'm going to say no here because I want to show you another command. So in that situation, if I want to stop a process that is running as another user, okay, so it could be, I could be logged in as my account, Kendrick, but the process may be running as administrator or some other account, right? It's who it's, who it has permissions to run as. So if I want to stop this, then I can use another command called uh, tag force. So stop process, dash name, tag name, LSAS, tag force, tag, and remember pass through, T-H-R-U, okay? And that's gonna automatically, if I do that, so it gives me feedback, and so guess what? LSAS is a critical pro a process, but I was literally able to kill a critical process using PowerShell because of the power of the force, the tag force, man. Uh, and that's pretty much, I think this is a good stopping point. This should give you tremendous power. My VM is probably gonna restart in just a second anyway. But I just want you to continue with the series. I hope you enjoyed this series. So please don't forget to drop a like in the video, subscribe, and I'm going to come back and I'll have, this is part four at this point. So I'll be back with, let's see, one, two, three, part three. I'll be back with part four of the series. Anyway, thanks for watching and you can learn cybersecurity. I'm going to help you all the way. We're going to get into some really cool stuff in the future of the channel. So please subscribe. You're going to enjoy it. I'm going to show you things that you don't normally see on cybersecurity because everybody's going for the cool stuff. I'm going to go for the stuff that actually gets you hired. Okay. I promise you. Thanks for watching.